hello everyone welcome back today we will going to see how we can work on the desktop applications and for that how we can inspect those elements so you have to type recorder in the action and then you have to drag drop the capture action here here you see browser application and variables so for now you have to select the application refresh this once you refresh this whichever application is active here it will going to be populated here but as we see we want to work on the calculator so for that what i will do i am going to open the calculator and then i am going to refresh it again now you see in the local application my chrome is open notepad is open and the calculator is open so right now the chrome is open notepad is open and the calculator is open so whichever application is open locally in your machine that is, that will going to be display here now let's select the calculator from here now this window title will going to be picked automatically so this is calculator and the title is itself a calculator for this particular window now you can use a regex expressions also and normally the string so for now i will keep it as a string also you can use the wild cards which is asterisk or question mark so for now i am just using it as it is i am not using any wild cards here because it is just an calculator as a title now coming below if you see this is the application path now you see here there is main and the anchor tab now let's focus on the main first this capture object is something which will going to capture an object in the windows application or it can be any application web application or desktop application so let me click on this so when i click on this you see it automatically navigates to this particular window why because we have already targeted that this window above that okay we want to open the calculator now it is highlighting everything so let's click on the 7 let's do the calculation so i am clicking on the 7 first it is capturing the object and also the screenshot now what action you want to take on it you want to click on this you want to do a left click right click double click or you want to get a properties so for now i just want to click on this okay now let's see object properties see there are a lot of properties is enabled here so far i am not changing anything i am just just you know disabling this one path for now and keep it as it is i think we so far we are good let's run the bot just to see if it clicking on 7 okay so it has clicked now let me copy this and paste it here and i'll recapture this i'll do plus same thing i am going to uncheck this for now now again i am copying this recorder and pasting here and then again recapturing the object which is let me take it to again i am copy and pasting the same action 
recapturing it again and clicking on the equals to that means it will do 7 plus 2 then equals to and then it will going to give us a result here now let's see if it is working or not for now I have copy pasted these actions but you can drag drop these actions from here itself from the action panel okay so it displayed the result correctly now let's capture this value and I will show it in message box so again now instead of copying it I am just drag this capture action I will going to select the calculator then clicking on the capture object and then I will select this particular value which is an output and then if you see here there is some error let's see what is this it is asking to provide an action now I don't want to click on it so I will going to select the get properties here now in the properties name what I will do I am going to get the value I am going to get the value and the value that I am getting I want it to be saved into some variable I am creating a variable as str result and then I will use a message box and then I am going to display this str result value here itself now let's run Now the bot is started it, you see it is quickly done that but it is not printing the value from here so now let's see what is the issue so instead of the value let's select the name now I have selected the name if you expand this object properties let me disable the path you see in the name it is showing the displays nine. so basically we are getting a value into the name now if I run the bot with this property let's see if it is printing the result okay it is showing displays 9 that means it is showing as a result somewhere okay now so far we have achieved what you want to achieve here but now we will going to change it dynamically dynamically means I want to pass this 7 from some variable so that later if I change it to some other value it should work as it is so I am going to copy this 7 I will go to the variables and create a variable with a string type I will, I will create as uh, value 1 create I will type in the action string and then in the sign I am going to use a value which is 7 and going to assign it to str value that's what we have created I think str let it let me change it to str value 1 str value 1 similar way I am going to use another assign and then I will pass a value of the second which is 2 
I will pass a second value which is to here and going to store it into the str value 2 so far we have two variables now I will go here expand this instead of this 7 I am going to pass a value of str value 1 similar way I will go here expand this pass a value as str value 2 now let's see what is the output it will going to print so far what we have done we have created two variables we have passed the name to it and then we have passed those variables to the object properties it is displaying the results now let's do some changes here instead of 7 if I pass 2 and here if I pass 3 let me pass here 6 instead of 2 so in the first value I have passed 6 in the second I am passing 3 let me run it again now it is printing the result 6 plus 3 equals to 9 also we can pass the operator also if you want to do plus or minus similar way you can create one variables for the operator and then you can pass here instead of this plus you can pass this particular variable okay now you are thinking that it is showing displays 9 but I want only a 9 from this so for that what you can do so if you remember we have work on the string part and there we learn how we can extract the text so to extract the text I am going to pass a source string my source string is str result so let's pass str result here now start after text before or after now what is the start after text my start text is displays display is and then space and I'm going to store it into the results only so it will override the value now let's run it again and see what output it will going to show in the message box perfect it is showing 9 why because it is taking very right values it is just removing the display is and showing only the result which is 9 so far we have done a good job here now there is one thing which is missing I want this application to be opened automatically so if I if I run this what will happen for now I have closed the calculator let's see how the bot will going to behave in this way keep waiting for that particular object if it is present or not that is throwing an exception here so what I will do I will search for application and then I will drag drop this open program file here you have to pass this particular path on this particular path 
you will have the calculator.exe file present in windows system 32 so this path you have to copy and paste here this will going to open the calculator now let me run the bot now you see the calculator is open and it is showing the result as 9 so far what we have done we have used an action open program where we have passed calculator.exe file path we have created two string variables where we have passed a value as a 6 and 3 we have used the record capture here just to capture each objects just like for any number or for any operators it's it, it can be plus minus or equals to after that we are storing this particular result into a variable str result here and then we are using extract text to extract only the relevant result so it is basically displaying as a result as display is a number whatever it is coming here so we have removed that display is and printing only the number so for that we have used this extract text and in the end we are showing the result with the help of message box that's it for today we will meet again to see how this recorder capture will work on the web applications thanks everyone for watching my video have a great day